Hi everybody, my name is Bianca Bruce. I'm a business and brand coach and strategist. And one of the questions I get asked often, especially from clients who have uh, a service that they provide, is where do my customers come from? So that is such an important thing to track. It's such an important thing to notice. I wanna tell you that statistically, 80% of your revenue comes from about 20% of your customers. That is a pretty well-known statistic. Uh, you can Google that and get tons of information about it and even some tips and tricks on how to increase your customer base. Today, I wanna talk to you about just a few things that I believe are going to uh, help you and support you in growing your customer base. And one of those things is continually reaching out and building on the, the base that you already have. So even if you've just started out with one person or you are talking to everybody you know in your circle of friends um, or say you're talking to everybody in your Facebook group, um, just engage the people that you already know, but then continue to invite new people into your customer base. How do you do, how do, you do that? Um, that is always the trick of entrepreneurship. And the way that I believe that you can do that is through networking, through meeting people and speaking to them about who you are, what you do, and why you're doing what you do. Networking is very little about the actual what it is you do. That takes up less than a minute of an interaction uh, when you're talking or speaking to somebody. Um, the bulk of the interaction is going to be about the value that you bring as a human being, as a woman or man in business. How can you engage with the person or the persons you are talking to? What is interesting about them? Um, ask them questions about who they are and what they do. Bring the value of the things that are important to you. May that be having fun or curiosity, uh, talking about your children and family, speaking of where you had dinner uh, last that was really a, a good experience. Those are the kinds of things and those are the kinds of conversations that are going to invite people into being curious about you and what it is that you do. So remember that as you are uh, providing great service and that as you are growing your customer pool um, and as you are thanking your customers whom you have served, you are building impact. That is really how impact happens. You grow your customer base, you serve the people that are your customers and you thank them. So um, this month we've been talking about standing in the light as a entrepreneur. And this is important, uh, this particular point of growing your customer base is important because as you are standing in your value proposition, as you're standing in the light, knowing exactly who you are and what you are here to do, and as you are engaging with other people, as you are expanding your customer pool, as you are ex speaking to more and more people as you are uh, providing service to more and more people. You are beginning to be rooted in the work that you do. People are going to start talking about you and that's really what standing in a light is about. You knowing who you are, who you are, and the good work that you're here to do. Let people talk about that. Give them reasons to speak about your value proposition. Here's the thing. There's a cost in doing business. And next year, uh, we are at the end of 2017, we're going to start a little series on working on your business or in your business and what those two statements might mean and how you might want to prefer one over the other and then how you can do that. So I hope you will join us and join me in having these conversations. If you have questions, thoughts, ideas, or pushback, I'm really curious about your experiences in business. What works for you? How are you networking? How are you expanding your customer pool? How are you experiencing your value proposition in your work? I wanna know about that. Subscribe to the channel and you'll get a little notification letting you know that we are live. And also comment, send me your questions. I look forward to engaging with you. I hope you have a very beautiful holiday season. It's good to see you. Bye. <laughs>